everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. It's Rog here once again and today I'm going to be cooking a very delicious casserole. It's a one pot meal. It's pork and apple casserole. Very delicious, very easy, very economical. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see all my future videos and all the old ones from the past. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack on. This is what we're going to need. These are just really plump pork sausages. We're going to need some apples. I've got two lovely rosy red apples and some mushrooms I'm going to be cutting these into quarters we need an onion I'm going to use one white onion sliced a couple of lemons just to give a little bit of sharpness to the meal we're going to need some cider a lovely apple cider and of course I'm going to put in a little bit of uh, these chilli flakes just a little pinch just to give it a little bit of a kick or a little bit of a heat and of course our old friends salt and pepper we start off with a big pan on a hob in we go with some cooking oil or olive oil doesn't matter which you use and of course good old-fashioned little bit of butter goes in there we we'll mix that in with the oil this way the butter doesn't burn when we get a nice heat going then we can add our sausages now the sausages I'm going to cut into thirds like this We'll pop those in and what I want to do with these I want to get these browned a little bit of caramelization if you like I do love that it adds flavor so much flavor to a, a dish like this then I'm gonna cut up an onion into chunks in that goes we're gonna cook the onion down with the sausages until they get nice and soft and adds to the caramelization actually if you look on the bottom of the pan there there's a caramelization just starting to build up and brown means flavor and it sure does guys so make sure you get plenty of brown on the bottom of your pan don't worry about it I'm gonna add some garlic now now you don't add garlic at the same time as the onions because as you know I've said before the garlic's going to burn so you cut this into slices and you're gonna put that in let that cook down just for a minute or two not long doesn't need it for very long and while that's cooking we can quarter the mushrooms these are quite big what you call closed cup mushrooms so we quarter these like this and then they're ready for the pan in they go now these are going to soak up the juices from the sausage and the butter and the oil they're like little sponges these guys just another look at that caramelization yeah that's good so let's crack on give these a good mix together get all those flavors going and then of course we can think about our next step which is going to be the apples now the apples are going to add some sweetness I'm going to cut these into little pieces like this not too small about like that size that's fine in that goes we're going to get those covered in the oil as well and also we're going to slice our lemons now this is to add a little bit of sharpness to the dish the sharpness and the sweetness goes together in fact it all goes together to make a wonderful meal now I'm going to pop in some of these chili flakes you can put in as many as you want it's up to you don't have to put them in if you don't want to if you don't want any heat but I do like a little bit of heat in this uh, dish this casserole dish then we're going to add a little bit of salt and of course our old friend that lovely gorgeous black pepper well do I like this stuff keep putting in a bit more bit more oh a bit more please there we go loads of flavor give this a really really good mix together looks colorful too doesn't it it's coming on really well so I think the next move's going to be we're going to add our cider. There it is. Apple cider. Beautiful stuff for cooking. If there's a little bit left over, I know where that's going. And it won't be for cooking. On with the lid. And it's off to the oven. Gas mark four for 15 to 20 minutes until everything is cooked right the way through then this is what you've got 
Now, doesn't that look delicious? One of my favourite meals. You've got the sharpness, you've got the sweetness, you've got the bit of heat, you've got everything in this meal. So easy to cook. So, it's time for a little taste test, I think. That bit of sausage looks gorgeous. A little bit of juice. And I'm telling you, that is fantastic. Please try this recipe for yourself, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned, watch all my videos. Don't forget, subscribe and all that old business. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.